Hello everyone, my name is Sky, and welcome back to Pokemon White. In the last episode, we battled Bianca and Charon and made our way to Striaton City. And we tried to find Fennel, but we couldn't exactly get to her. In this episode though, we're gonna head to the Striaton Gym and battle the gym leader, I hope. Oh man. Yes, yes, I am a gym leader of this town. You are? Right, you want to gel- to- to- tip- Man, I just cannot- I cannot not stumble over my words today, I guess. Right, you want to challenge the gym. In that case, what was the first Pokémon you chose? Oshawott. I see. It's weak against grass-type Pokémon. I think you need to prepare to face that type. For example, try training your Pokémon in the Dream Yard. Please excuse me now. Oh. He's suggesting that we go train our Pokemon before heading into the gym. Smart idea. You can't go upstairs now. Fennel says she was testing something. She had a scary look on her face. Oh. Well, Fennel's up there, so... And we need to talk to her, but I guess... If... She's not ready to talk right now. I guess we'll come back later. Oh, trainer, do you have enough Pokeballs? Don't be shy. Take this with you. A Great Ball! Oh, man. A Great Ball is a greater Pokeball. It's a Pokeball that makes it easier to catch Pokemon than a Pokeball normally would. Same for Dusk Ball. Dusk Ball basically... I believe the Dusk Ball has a Great Ball's effectiveness when it's used in darkness. It might have an Ultra Ball's effectiveness when used in darkness. But... We'll figure that out. When we give a Pokemon a nickname, we grow attached to it, don't you agree? Yes. That's why I think it's important to nickname your Pokemon. It enhances the experience. That's not to say people can't nickname their Pokemon, or should, or, you know, that's the best way to play, but I think it's a better way to play. You can play however you want. This is your world. Oh man. A model named Elisa. Elisa, or however you'd want to pronounce it. It might be Elisa, for reasons we'll figure we'll find out later. But I'm gonna think I'm gonna call her Elisa. Hmm. Oh, you have a cool Pokemon. That is a Petalil, which we'll learn more about later. Um, I actually did run that Pokemon in my first playthrough of this game. I really enjoyed it. It's a really good Pokemon. All right, well, he suggested that we go to the Dream Yard. So, let's go to the Dream Yard. Ah. Here we are, the Dream Yard. Oh. We have a mandatory battle here. We, we are training here. Now let's train Pokémon together. Oh boy. Well, here we go. Last scary. We got a purloin. All right, go Mizune. Let's beat some stuff up. Now you know Water Sport. Water Sport is a new move that will reduce the effectiveness of Fire type moves. Not really useful on Mizune, but if you can get a Pokemon that's a Grass type to learn that, pretty dang nice. All right, Mizune, let's tackle it. Tackle it and finish it off. Good job. We are winner. All right, she's gonna bring out another Purloin. I'm gonna switch over to Lillipup. All right, Lillipup, more time for you to shine. Uh, tackle. Bite will not be very effective because it is also a dark type. Tackle should do well. Use Scratch. Assist is a very strange move. But... Eh. Ah, level 10. Good job, Lillipuff. Love my dog. Oh, that dog man Here's another mandatory trainer. I'm 
feel like we can win against you, but stranger things have happened. Like missing with Stone Edge three times in a row, even though it has 95% accuracy after using Compound Eyes. But, like I said, stranger things have happened. It can happen. I don't think it will. I think you're gonna get ground into the dirt. Good job. Next is gonna send out a another Patrat. Let's throw out Lillipup again, switch off here and there, because we only got two Pokemon that we need to worry about leveling up, so not too difficult to, to raise them. As you get more Pokemon, obviously as you would expect, it gets a little bit more difficult because you have to switch them out more often. There is, an, there is an item that can help with that, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. And another Lollipop. Uh, let's just keep battling. Or, uh... Oh, wait. Uh, not another Lollipop. His only Lollipop. Hoping for the flinch. Don't think it'll matter, but, you know... Dreams. Men can have dreams. Tackle, I actually think, should be more powerful than Bite, with the same type of attack bonus, but... Eh. Good job, Lillipup. The Pokémon fought well, didn't they? Well, yeah, I guess, but... Winning is what matters. Hey, hey you! What was the first Pokémon you received? Oshawott, really? Then Panseer could be a big help. Your Oshawott does not do well against Grass-type Pokémon. Say, do you want this Panseer of mine? Are, are you sure? I mean... It's a free Pokemon. Okay, here you go! It can use Fire-type moves, so that makes it hot against Grass-types. Oh man, we got a Panseer! Holy crap! Uh, no, will not be given a nickname to Panseer. If you have many times Pokemon, something will work out, no matter what kind of Pokemon you have to face. Uh, alright, Panseer is part of the trilogy of elemental monkeys, I guess is the best thing to call them. So I'm gonna cut in here real quick, post-edit Sky is gonna cut in, because I ramble on for quite a while about these monkeys. Um, mostly because I didn't do my research beforehand, but now I know. So the elemental monkeys, each of them are, what you would guess, a different element. There's fire, water, and grass. There's pan sage, pan seer, and pan poor. Um, each of them evolve with their respective evolutionary stones, which is a, a grass stone, fire stone, water stone. Um, they all have the same stats. They all have the same ability. Uh, and their moves are relative to each other in that, you know, instead of incinerate, uh, they're gonna, the, the Panpour is gonna learn Water Gun. Um, they're interchangeable, very interchangeable. Um, it's pretty much whichever starter you chose, uh, you're gonna get a different monkey. Um, I, based on their stats, they're mixed attackers and they're relatively fast, but they're not, they're, they're a little too weak in terms of defenses and health for the amount of damage that they're going to put out. I don't really like them a whole lot. Um, the only one that I like is probably Simi Sage, um, which is the evolved form of Pan Sage. But I think you're going to find better fire, water, or grass types than any of these. So better off looking elsewhere for a teammate. But if you want to take one, it's not going to be too bad for the gym that's coming up. All right, we're going to head farther into the dream yard. We found an X Defend! So we can't continue this way. However, over here, there's a tree that can be cut down. Hmm. I don't think we can really do anything over here. But, looks like we got all the training we needed to do. So the next step is to head for the gym, right? Yeah, why not? Let's head for the gym. Oh man. 
We got some gym stuff going on. Look at this guy. Hello! I'm Clyde. I'm the guide for trainers challenging a Pokemon gym. We appreciate your challenging the gym. Take this co uh, take this co to commemorate the occasion. Freshwater. Freshwater will heal your Pokemon for a good amount, actually, too. So fire. So this guy was talking about type effectiveness. So what if we step on the water type? Since water is strong against fire, yes. That will rate or get the the thing open. Ah, so we have to battle this guy. Welcome to Striton's Gym. Care for a taste of battle? I'll serve up the first course. Oh man, we have a Pokemon restaurant that also is a gym? Waiter Maxwell. You wouldn't happen to know Milo, would you? He has a lily pup. Alright, Mizune. Time to get out there and do what do you do. Come on. We can take it down. It's not too bad. Boy, that did a lot of damage. Uh, come on, go first, Mizune. Oh, no. Oh. Well, I mean, you could have won, but... The early bird KOs the Pokemon? I think early bird is actually an ability, which is... I didn't mean for that to be a thing, but it is now. All right, water is weak to grass. So let me go ahead and throw a potion. This is the bag, by the way. I'm gonna throw a potion on Mizune. For this next battle. The specialty of Stride and Gym, the full course trainer deluxe. I'm your second course. Delicious. M Waitress Tia. Kind of like Taya, because Taya in Yu Gi Oh! was actually a, a waitress to start, so that's kind of funny. She has a Patrat at level 10. A pet rat. Water gun as usual, because why not? Same type attack bonus makes that much better than uh, tackle, I believe. Maybe not much better, but better. And bide is a dangerous move if you do not handle it correctly. It stores up damage that they take. Um, they don't take any less damage, but it stores up the damage they take and dishes it back out at you after two turns, two or three turns. We're gonna learn Focus Energy. Focus Energy is different. They, you spend a turn to make it so that on your next attack, your critical hits will land. Uh, you'll, you're more likely to get a critical hit. It's all right. I don't think I'll take it. Just because it's very... I would much rather spend the time attacking and have the small chance of getting a critical hit anyway rather than spend a turn to try and boost critical hits. A Purloin. Yeah, let's switch over to Lillipop. Cats versus dogs, I guess. Well, you clearly have the advantage here. Ow. Yeah, you, you ain't got nothing on Lillipup's damage. Get out of here, kitty cat. And Lillipup takes home the medal. That was one of our most popular dishes. Did you enjoy the battle? Yes, I will leave a positive yelp. And fire beats grass. I'm gonna go heal. And we're back here in the Striatin gym, ready to face off against the gym leader. I am going to switch. Actually, um, I probably don't need to right off the bat. Yeah, I don't really need to. 
That's fine. Oh man. Welcome to the Stryton City Pokemon Gym. I'm Chili. I light things up with fire type Pokemon. I'm a water type specialist, and my name is Cress. Oh man, it's that dude from Tales of Fantasia. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And my name is Silen. I like grass type Pokemon. Um, you see, as for why the three of us, um, are all here as well, uh. Oh, enough, listen up. The three of us will decide whom you'll battle. It'll be based on the type of the first Pokemon you chose. That is indeed the case. And the partner you first chose was water type, it seems. Nothing personal, no hard feelings. Me and my grass type Pokemon will, um. We're gonna battle, come what may. Well, alright. Let's go, Silen! So, um, if you're okay with me, I'll, um, put everything I've got into being, uh, you know, your opponent. Man, you're way different in the anime. Sarah versus Silen! Our first gym battle is against Leader Silen! He's throwing out a lily pup with level 12, normal type with the ability pick up and the moves bite and work up. This Pokemon will be the same across every single trainer that you end up picking. Uh, if you started with Snivy uh, and Tepig, you receive a separate, a second, the second Pokemon will be different. Excuse me. We're going to Water Gun. He's going to bite. Hopefully he doesn't get the flinch. He does not. Water Gun hits pretty hard. Oh, my Pokemon! Water Gun again! Oh no, don't, don't flinch, don't flinch. Yeah! Go for it. Oh, I used a potion. Gym leaders will typically use potions when their Pokemon get weak. It's just a thing that they do. I don't like it. I don't think anyone likes it. But they do it! Water Gun again! Good job. Lillipup down. He's gonna send out Pan Sage. Pan Sage is a grass type Pokemon, level 14 with the ability Gluttony, and the moves Work Up, Vine Whip, Lick, and Fury Swipes. If you chose Snivy, he will be sending you will be fighting Chili, and he will be fighting with a Pan Seer, level 14, fire type with the ability Gluttony and the moves Work Up, Incinerate, Lick, and Fury Swipes. And if you chose Tepig, you'll be fighting Cress, and he will use a Panpour, level 14, water type with the ability Gluttony, and the moves Work Up, Water Gun, Lick, and Fury Swipes. And oh man, this music! Bite it! Ah, Vine Whip! Ow, how much? Ooh! Okay, critical hit, that's why that hit so hard. Uh, we're gonna use... HP. I don't want to use too many healing move or healing items when we're fighting, but that hit really hard and he got a lucky critical hit to start, so... Vine Whip is still... Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> you kidding me with the criticals here? Okay, he's gonna use Work Up. That's not good. Work Up will increase its attack and its special attack, which... I don't really like all that much. And he's just gen he's just generally faster. Ow. Wow, that does so much damage. We should just tackle. If we live Ah, oh, Lollipop. Alright, well. Um Izune? Maybe you're fast enough? Try and tackle it. Using work up again. Oh no. Come on, we're not gonna survive this. Oh boy. Well, we're down to our last viable Pokemon, and that is the Panseer we got in the Dream Yard. Go for it, Panseer. Incinerate our foe. Panzer will resist that and incinerate will be super effective. Wanted to try and beat this guy without using the elemental monkey we got, but 
think we gotta, I think we just, we gotta bite the bullet and beat him this way. Pan Sage is down. Do not be afraid to use that elemental monkey. Even if you're not gonna use it on your team, getting past this first gym leader is actually quite tough because they purposely make you fight someone who has a type advantage. So don't feel bad about doing that. Uh, is it over now? A lot of polka dollars. What a surprise! You are very strong. Seems like not even Chili or Crest could beat you. And we get... our first badge. The Trio Badge. Gym badges are proof of a trainer's abilities. If you have one badge, Pokémon including traded Pokémon up to level 20 will obey you without question. We also want you to have this. TM83 Workup. TM83 contains Workup. If you use Workup, the Pokémon's attack and special attack go up. By the way, TMs can be used as many times as you want. And that's right, that's a new thing in Generation 5. TMs are now infinite use. So that was... fantastic. Um, I kind of wish Mizune and Lillipup could have lived through that, but it's fine. It's fine. We got a lot done today. We made our way to Striton City Gym and defeated Silen, and we visited the Dream Yard and back. And next time, I guess we'll be talking to Fennel. So until then... Later, trainers!